Today we're making beef and stout pie. This is a classic English pub recipe, but we've added it something a little bit different to make this recipe stand out. I've already gotten a head start by cooking some pearl onions and mushrooms, and I've also gotten a start on browning the beef. I browned the beef in three batches to make sure there's even browning on all sides of the beef. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to the pan, seasoned the beef already, and I've dredged it in some flour. The flour will aid in browning the beef, and then also thicken the stew later as it simmers. I'm gonna deglaze with half a cup of water, just drizzling in very slowly so it doesn't splatter. Begin to simmer up just a little bit. Use my wooden spoon to scrape the bottom of the pan. So now that we have the pan deglazed, we want to save this liquid, so I'll pour it back into the bowl with the other reserved liquid. One last thing before we put everything together. We're going to cook the garlic and the tomato paste for just about a minute, adding a little bit more oil. Just stir it lightly to break up the paste. Now we can add everything back into the pot. Got the beef, the cooked mushrooms and onions. We have some raw carrots and potatoes that will cook while the stew is simmering. Some fresh thyme, and now the liquid, the reserved juices that we deglazed in the pan, some beef broth, and of course, the stout. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer, turn the heat down to low, cover it, and let it cook for three hours until the beef is nice and tender. I've made a simple pie crust, but what we're gonna do special today is add some Stilton into the crust and then roll it out. So I've rolled it out into a large rectangle. I'm going to sprinkle one side with crumbled Stilton cheese, and then fold the crust over in half, and press the edges together just slightly so none of the cheese crumbles out the side, and then a little bit in the center. and then roll it out again, making sure you're still flouring the dough if necessary, if it's sticking. And then just with a small paring knife, I'm going to cut a circle in the dough. And at this point, since you have your paring knife in hand, you can go ahead and cut the air spouts this will allow the steam to escape from the pie. And then we're gonna roll the dough back onto the rolling pin and transfer it to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Now with this excess dough, it's a shame to have it go to waste. So I'm going to re-roll the scraps cut out some extra crackers to serve on the side. Now we'll transfer this to the fridge and let it chill until the stew is done. The stew is just about finished. I seasoned it one last time with salt and pepper to give it a great flavor. Now we're ready to put the crust on top. Got our crust out of the fridge. I'm gonna brush the outer edge of the crust with water so this will stick to the side of the pan. And now I'm going to use my rolling pin as a way to transfer my crust to the top of the pan. Center it over the top. I'm gonna press it down just slightly into the pan because it's gonna droop anyway, so we don't want it to crack during baking. 
And as a final touch to give the crest a nice sheen and gloss, I'm gonna brush the top with the beaten egg. I'm gonna bake the stew until the crust is nicely golden, which is about 20 to 25 minutes. Our beef and stout pie is finished. The crust looks amazing and it's beautifully golden. You could prepare this dish in individual bowls for a more elegant presentation. And don't forget the crackers on the side. Your guests are sure to want those. So let's serve it up.